If eating meat is natural to humans, why is it that children are shielded from the reality of animal food production? It's pretty much a culture of value. We also don't really inform kids about what sex is, and this is even the vanilla form of sex when you're married and for the sake of having children. This doesn't include fetishes, sex for pleasure, homosexuality, transgendered, bisexuality, and the like. So saying that if something was natural we would openly discuss it isn't really a valid argument because a lot of things that are natural we don't discuss because in our view and in our society they're more or less taboo. If eating meat is natural to humans, why do my videos that show factory farming attract angry comments from me? Because factory farming, even though in Western society is very prevalent, it is still the more extreme of the issue. <clears throat> if I came on here and I showed uh, unhealthy vegan or even a whole bunch of unhealthy vegans and said, look, these vegans are unhealthy on a vegan diet, there are claims that a vegan diet is healthy, but if it's so healthy and if it's our natural diet, how can these people be unhealthy? If I did that, I would get criticism. People would be angry because I'm ignoring all the positive benefits of veganism. That's the same thing that you're doing. If you say it is immoral to eat meat because you murder animals, if you focus only on factory farming, if you focus only on the problems you can have on meat, people are going to be like, hey, you're not really presenting the issue in a fair way. You're only focusing on the negative. If eating meat is natural to humans, why does it cause so many health problems? Because we eat too much of it. Eating too much or not enough of something can cause you to have problems. If you eat meat, you have to make sure that you don't get too much fat or cholesterol in your diet. Likewise, if you are a vegetarian or vegan, you have to make sure that you get enough vitamins and minerals in your diet. For both of these, you can make sure that you have adequate levels of fat, cholesterol, and vitamins and minerals. But the risk is still there. So just because people have problems of keeping their cholesterol in check because they eat too much meat doesn't make it invalid. Just like people not having enough vitamins or minerals on a vegan diet doesn't make that invalid. If eating meat is natural to humans, how come there are so many vegans who are living long healthy lives? Because humans are omnivores. We're able to eat a diet that is devoid of meat, eggs, and dairy. And we're able to eat a diet that is nearly or completely devoid of plants. This doesn't mean that the extreme in any example is the best diet for us. And we see that in the research. But just because we are able to not eat something doesn't mean that we're not supposed to eat that. I, for instance, could decide, hey, I'm not going to eat bananas, but that doesn't mean that nobody can eat bananas. It just means that I can get the nutrients I want from somewhere else. Why do vegans have significantly lower rates of all the major Western lifestyle diseases? This is a very easy question to answer. They don't. For almost any of the valid research that you see on vegans and vegetarians and omnivores and pescatarians show that the number one cause of being healthy is not drinking, not smoking, and getting adequate exercise. Diet, although it does play into it significantly, is not the only factor. The more important factor than if you eat meat or not is, is your diet healthy? If your diet's healthy, then you're probably going to have good health. Why are vegans rising to the top in so many sports and athletic pursuits? Because people hear that veganism is such a great diet for them. So the people who are naturally going to be a, go out and they're going to be really good at these sports, if they hear this and believe it, they're going to try a vegan diet. I'm going to link a video down below where somebody who is talking about genetics because in this instance genetics has probably a higher ability to make somebody good or bad at a sport. 
people who climb Mount Everest share a common gene. Likewise, Olympic athletes tend to share a common gene also. And what I'm linking to you is not about veganism or vegetarianism or the like, so you shouldn't really have any problem watching it because it shouldn't say anything that you don't already believe. If meat was our natural food, vegans should be falling apart, but instead, they're thriving. Again, it's kind of like saying if meat was an unnatural food, then omnivores would be falling apart, and instead, we're thriving. We are all over the planet. The only problem is, is that we tend to overeat in America and other Western countries. However, the diet in America has been shown to provide all your needed nutrients. In America, you don't really have a lack of nutrients. We don't need to really take supplements to be healthy. Unless, of course, you're going to limit your diet with veganism or vegetarianism, in which case you might have to take a supplement of vitamin B12. You carry a risk of not getting adequate nutrients in other areas, but if you're careful, you can actually do this without having to take supplements. So, it's pretty much a myth. If eating meat is natural to humans, why do humans find meat in its natural raw state so repulsive? As long as Homo sapiens have existed, we've had access to fire. Hominids long before we existed had the ability to cook their food. Thus, we kind of have a taste for cooked food, which has helped lead to brain development. But people honestly don't really have an actual aversion to uncooked food. A lot of it is cultural. But even the people in America, they eat food called sushi. And although sushi itself doesn't always have to have raw fish in it, oftentimes it does. In Iceland, they eat rotten shark because if they didn't, the shark would be poisonous. People all over the world do this. Here's a video of somebody who claims that meat is actually a cure for cancer in its raw state. The video, and I'm looking at it, is even called Cancer Cure, Raw Meat and Raw Fat Eating. And he's eating a raw steak. At least it looks like a steak. And the little girl in the background has no problem with it. So again, it's mostly cultural. This is the usual way I eat, maybe. Any biological omnivore will salivate at the sight of a dead animal and will relish burying its face in the guts of the carcass. Humans don't. In fact, the thought of it makes us feel ill. Well, it doesn't make this guy feel ill. Ogenus claims his afflictions have miraculously disappeared. A situation he attributes to consuming spoiled cuisine. As strange as it may sound, with each bite of rotten flesh, Ogenus says he only gets stronger. All right, here, take the knife now. Grab to see how it's like. I think you kind of sabotage yourself with these last two videos that you're showing because even though you have what you want to show the person being disgusted and taken aback by the blood and everything or maybe in the bottom video of the smell of decaying matter I don't really know what they're doing in the last video the person filming is laughing at them and making jokes so obviously at least one person involved doesn't have a problem with it the other person who is doing it though is probably very very new to it otherwise why would they film it I mean you kinda have to take that into consideration if you and your buddies are out all the time hunting and everything and you have no problem gutting a deer you're not gonna film it if you're taking your brand new friend or wife or whoever out to go gut a deer it's probably going to be a very interesting situation to, to see. Mostly, once again, because of our society and our aversion to, to blood and gore and death. We don't like to think about it. We like to have a very clean society in our mind, even though it really isn't. Well, I hope I have enlightened you and any viewers of this on some of your questions. 
and I hope that I've done it in a way that would allow you to watch the video in its entirety so that you don't stop it part of the way through and because you're either angry or because you think I am extremely wrong on something. Well, this is Remag Rants, signing out.